Hello everyone and welcome back to Major on the Space Activist. Today we're going to be talking about what is Kepler's equation and how to apply it to many different things. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. In 1609, German astronomer called Johannes Kepler published this equation, t squared divided by d cubed equals k. t stands for the time taken for a planet to go around the sun, and d is the average distance from the planet from the sun. However, k, you don't need to worry about it, because we're going to get rid of it in a minute. If we don't know how far away Mars is from the sun, we can use this equation to figure it out. First of all, we, we need another planet that we know about. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. We'll use Earth. We know that the time for Earth to go around the Sun it is one year. And we know that the distance to, from, of Earth from the Sun is 150 million kilometers. We can put these numbers into Kepler's formula. So we get one squared divided by 150 cubed equals K. The next job is to see how, how long it takes to Mars to go around the Sun. So you better grab that stopwatch. Did you do it? You should get 1.88 years. Now here's the really cool bit. As both versions of the equations equals k, we can get rid of the k and we get we, we get this. 1 squared divided by 150 cubed equals 1.88 squared divided by m cubed. Now we shuffle everything around to get m cubed equals 1.88 squared times 150 cubed. Now if we do all the numbers here, if we do all the math, we get that m cubed equals 11,928,600. Now we just need to do the cube root and we get m equals 228 million kilometers from the sun now that is how you use it to apply it to do it to a different planet now i hope you learned how to use kepler's formula here and i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching